I mean, it awesome. seems like London is probably the line. Finding of the a game to play on the stream takes everything you got. <laughs> sure would be nice if Sega published one we liked a lot. Hey. Wouldn't it be nice to play a game oh, that consists of smaller yeah. games? Let's head to London for the Olympic Games. Nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of lost the tune there a little bit. You play the game I asked for, so I'm happy to play whatever you want. Oh, fuck. Yeah. God damn, okay. Like, <laughs> nobody take a stand and you yell belly fucking... Uh, well, I'm trying to be accommodating and helpful. <laughs> you can't win with Ryan, man. Yeah. Somebody what just... in the world? <laughs> it's a that's, it's a, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, that's, that's airplane? A, it's a plane. No, but this, what's the joke? Uh, Metal bird. A, a air control. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll back a patrol to air control. <laughs> Air We're, traffic uh, controller. Air traffic controller. That's the one. We're uh, bringing it down on uh, apartment nine one nine. Breaker breaker. <laughs> Why do they say breaker breaker? <laughs> Sorry, um, can't hear you. Um, we're up in space. <laughs> Over. <laughs> that's the, that's what, they, they took a wrong turn then. If they're up in space. <laughs> What's your favorite Jackbox game? That isn't Quiplash or Drawful? Because mine is both of these. Both of these? You have both of these nuts on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good roasting. Destructive. I've been verily roasted. I'm gonna sculpt a skull. Uh, can it be a jelly skull? Yeah, actually, it can. Nice. I could jellify anything Wait, at the end. What the hell? What's, is what's that the new name for it? Jellify? Oh. As far as I'm concerned, we're playing Blitz Quiplash now. Everybody gets 10 <laughs> seconds per prompt, and that's it. So, one and oh, they're out of time. Nalf got in. <laughs> Nick, Enjoy. did you watch Monday's stream? Because in Quiplash, we had three jinxes. Yeah, we did. I actually didn't catch Monday. What happened? But if you, yeah, yeah if you write exactly the same thing as somebody else, then okay, nobody gets any points. And, and it happened, it says jinx, and it laughs at you. Wow. And they weren't even like Harambe memes. They were original answers that got jinxed. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. Well, that's just yeah. bizarre, then. Michael! <laughs> You can't fall into the fire, mate. Elizabeth Lion. Hasselbeck oh. will take the <laughs> nation's heart. Yeah, all right. Hello? The most oh. popular t-shirt slogan in Mississippi, probably. Get her done or make America great again. So we're both in, um, like, real-world territory with this one. Real-world mm -hmm. problems. It wanted a real-world answer, so we gave it to him. <laughs> So I mean, it's fair to say Mississippi probably not a swing state. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty fair to say. Hey, they did just abolish slavery in the 1990s. I so, thought you, you were know. going to say like today. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it's, it's something still ridiculous. pretty bad. In the yeah, 90s. It's, 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 yeah, I don't know if it was the 90s. It was something like that though. Make America great again. You never know when you're gonna need insurance. You could wake up tomorrow and wow. be dead or. You could wake up tomorrow and you're dead. Oh. <laughs> this we turpin, almost had a jinx there. We did, actually. Rob is. Ra How am I racist for Mississippi not abolishing slavery? Was it actually abolished legally in the 1990s? I think uh, people in chat were saying 2013. That strikes no, me as actually, implausible. Technically, it's, it still exists because what? it's allowed in prison. That's, what? That's pretty funny. What John Goodman's belches smell like? Human urine or gherkins? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> a bad name for a water park. Jelly World or Lil Squirts? Both, both pretty bad names for a water park. I would definitely not... take my kids to one of these, and it's not <laughs> Lil Squirts. <laughs> <laughs> you got a kid, Ryan? No, take your kid to Lil Squirts. Then <laughs> leave them, <laughs> leave oh, them there. That's good. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Wow. Who is most likely to have a kid related to the NLSS? Like, who in the NLSS is most likely to have a kid? I put you as last, not because yeah. of any amount of, like, Rob can't get the job done, but because <laughs> as I had a feeling, like, as soon as that conception happened, you're on the next plane to Bolivia. <laughs> Can I also be at the bottom with Rob? Wow. I don't want a kid either. I, wow. I put you... It was like bear, me, fox, yeah. then you. Okay, bear. Yeah, bear should yeah. be near the top. I think he's got the most instinct. 
I think we, that's fair. We have, the winners on The Bachelor get a rose. The losers should get a girl to fart in their throat or John Goodman's <laughs> anal beads. Oh, nice. God. Nice. It's like a nice. beautiful necklace. <laughs> Yo, we can't count Dan. Dan's already had a kid. He's excused himself from the running. From the taunting. The yeah. What about there Josh? You know what? I totally forgot Josh. Josh, mm -hmm. I think, would fit in after Malf. Ah! He'd be close with Malf, I think. Wait, uh, I don't know. Able? I shouldn't have a baby? I was no, a baby not shouldn't, but like, who is most likely to have one next? Right. Oh god. If I'm not on the lowest end of that list, you'd be You were list one above Rob, I think. Okay, that's Where like yeah. if there was some sort of accidental pregnancy, you'd probably be like a good guy and hang around for it and like be make an honest woman out of her. Hey, I wanna defend <laughs> myself here. I would I would stick around for the kid. Rob, you can't get me wrong here. Here. Cubano sandwiches. <laughs> I will teach him the glory of Cubana Ew. <laughs> this hot dog is brown, but this hot dog's pink. Ew. That was actually better than his impersonation, too. <laughs> Something Big Bird will confess on his deathbed. He really hates kids, or he was attracted to Garbage Can Man. So, Garbage Can Man, 100%. I got RLS painted all over that one. And then he really hates kids. I think that that is Rob. Because Austin likes to go a little bit more meme and Malf is just completely Marvel popped. Like, he's out of left field. But Garbage Can Man is definitely Nick. Oh, it was Austin! Oh, yeah. <laughs> why, do you, why do you know that? <laughs> it's just the it's the choice of words. Garbage can yeah, man. Garbage is, can man. We all know. Remember it. It. <laughs> garbage can man is definitely Nick. He's also Oscar the Grouch. It also won the worst <laughs> theme for a pinball machine: sausage fest or virtual bard. I'm yeah. just gonna go ahead and out myself here. <laughs> don't vote for sauce. I j I was talking while typing this. Oh, and nice I just couldn't No, don't let man. him. Don't let him reverse this. No. Believe me, they're not gonna vote for me knowing that it's my it's my answer. That's not happening either. It's a terrible answer. Virtual Bart is mouse? No, it's Austin's. Dude. Come on, yeah. man. Ooh, and it lost to Sausage Fest. Oh, Are you what? kidding? Which doesn't even make any sense. That it's doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Wait, did Astroglide win or fuck? lose? Astroglide lost. What? I mean, it's... <laughs> In uh, fairness, Virtual Bard is not that great of an answer either. It's just Sausage Fest is really bad. I've been watching The Good balls. Wife lately, so I'm. They do Dude, it all the time. Like, you're all about The Good Wife. Ooh, man. Welcome like, to The Good this Wife. There's a plane. That's understandable. Are the planes routed over your house today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. All right, here we go. Oh my god, you fuckers. Three of you went in the exact same category, basically. <laughs> you know you're a spoiled brat when your treehouse has a soda stream, when your treehouse has a six pack of golden cap smart water, when your six pack has a wardrobe, or your, <laughs> when your treehouse has a wardrobe that leads to Narnia. You know you're a spoiled brat when your treehouse has a tree guest house. You know you're a spoiled brat when your treehouse has a soda fountain. Well, I know which one's Ryan's. Why? It's the tree guest house. Why? What makes you say that? Because it's I'm... you. He's golden cap smart water. No, that yeah, seems like it's me too. That or the soda stream. Wardrobe that leads to Narnia is Austin. Yeah. And then Fox is lost. Soda Stream. Rob is Soda Fountain. Mouth is six pack of golden cap smart water. Mm, wait, well then which one is which one are you? Your tree guest house? Yeah, absolutely. I <laughs> told you. You got me pegged. Wow, but I don't know what to do with those toss salads and cranberry. Um, Rockley Smile, five percent with Soda Fountain. Hell yeah! And man. then Mouth, seven percent with Soda Stream. Yeah. <laughs> Six pack of Golden Cap Smart Water as Austin. Rob was wardrobe that leads to Narnia. Yeah, you fucked. And then Tree Guest House. What did I 49%. say? Forty-nine percent. Wow. <laughs> Wowie. What did I say? Humana, a humana. Nobody wants the wardrobe that leads to Narnia. <laughs> Top oh, answer: Lil Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. The catfish is only a dollar sixty-nine. Thanks, buddy. I kind of like my answers. Ah! I lose. Okay, it's time Shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, I don't have to jellify it. It's still able to be rescued. 
Why are you in you? pain? Did you like break your spine or something? What happened? Uh, yeah, I guess he did. I nice. think he might have memed super hard. Nice guys finish last. Don't fight yourself on the back, you might break your spine. Come up with a bad tourism slogan for the old faithful geyser. More reliable than your husband or Lil Squirt all grown up. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting a blowjob or like what's happening here. <laughs> oh, fuck that's good. <laughs> Ooh. Well, apparently three people were killed in a Toronto crossbow attack. A crossbow? Wow. Whoa. Rob, this is a current event, so please have <laughs> some decorum. <laughs> Sorry. Invent a holiday that you think everyone would enjoy. Meme day or sex day? I'm... Come on, like, yeah. I know it's Thursday, 5.30, but we could put in a little bit more effort than meme day or sex day. I crashed it again. Oh no, you gotta reduce the geometry. I'm trying, man. They're giving meme, me tips, I'm trying to listen. Meme day has won. Yeah. And we have all lost. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about being Donald Trump. Hot, oh. hot daughter or Putin piggyback rides? Y'all got giant bug in here. Piggyback rides? That's pretty good. I think this is Rob and and Ryan. Yeah. You don't think it's me? Mm, no. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. Get, 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 got him. Ooh, hot daughter wins. Wow! Oh, really? As usual. Hot daughter, Jackie I the kitty. <laughs> Her stepmom's gonna be the first lady. <laughs> oh, I called it, baby! Yeah, you Sur did actually call it. Surprising first words for your baby to speak. Not honorable or where's Rachel? <sighs> Thanks for watching the Northern Line Live Super Show. Um, <laughs> We could have played London. Every yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah. Wednesday, and Thursday. You had the power. All for London. <laughs> you had the fucking power, man. Uh, you tell the people what they were. Put the overlay. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Not honorable has won. That was a stupid question. That will. Uh, Dad, Dad. <laughs> Rob's crushing it right now. Am I? Baby rage. <laughs> oh. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> no. you're saying, oh. Come up with the name of a country that doesn't exist. Facebook or Taiwan? Oh, God. Wow. Oh, oh my God. The political burns. Jesus. Taiwan number one, dude. Come on. <laughs> Do we have a Chinese national in the crowd right now or something? That, you know, that's also a terrible prompt. I mean, it's pretty bad. You could just make up a funny word. Yeah. Fliggin' blobs, then. Flickin' Bobston. That's a real yeah. word. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is Facebook Nix? Yes. Okay. Why do you always know it's me? <laughs> a mean text you would send to break up with a Muppet. This other guy knows my prostate better or quit acting like you have a hand up your ass. <laughs> I, what does the first one mean? I don't know. The second one's funny enough to vote for, though. <laughs> The name of a new cologne inspired by celebrity chef Guy Fieri. Diners, drive-ins, and cloves. Or Triple D, Dirt Dong and Dung. Yo, there is no way. Here's the thing. Most likely among us to smoke clove cigarettes. Rockley Smile. Most likely among us. Most likely among us to use cloves in their cooking. Alpaca Patrol. So I don't know... Which way cloves is gonna go, but I'll tell you one thing, it's one of the two of you. I got that pegged 100 percent Nick already had two, so it has to be Rob. Yep, there you go. It is Rob indeed. Probably yeah. man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. 64% for triple D, dirt, dong, and dung. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fair. How did people not get the last one? The guy had his hand up the Muppet's ass. 
<laughs> and really knew the prostate well. So of course you're gonna like. <laughs> the real reason the dinosaurs died: communal suicide pact or a kid fell in the enclosure. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me, is this a reference to the gorilla oh. in the Cincinnati Zoo known as Harambe? <laughs> Wait, did we had no Harambe's the last time yeah, we did man. this. We who's the, who's the addition this time? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Ryan. Harambe. I've already won it's, both of mine. Yeah. It's Austin. Oh, no. Only one left. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Sometimes wow. a child well. falls into your enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> City I live in. Yeah, exactly. The Cincinnati. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You guys just submit whatever you want because I just won. Did you put Harambe? Every time, baby. I just I've got a Control C, Control V. <laughs> you got 10 seconds left. I just put in what I call them, so All it's right, pretty much this is the real life answer for me. A new word for people that drive too slow in the fast lane. <laughs> Go! Fliggin' Blob Stan, Lamber Grannies, hey. marked for execution, <laughs> tremors, and then there's an exclamation. Or a, an apostrophe at the end. I wonder which one Ryan is. <laughs> the only one that has a semblance of uh, originality <laughs> and <laughs> effort associated with it. That Tremors two percent. Yeah. <laughs> Fliggin' blob stand got five percent. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Nineteen percent. I'm surprised on that one actually. Marked for execution. Twenty-eight percent. Oh, shit. <laughs> You'd have like 60 something percent. Lamber Grannies, 45 percent. All right, I can't do math. <laughs> how did that not get, I don't see, like, I don't get how that didn't get 100 percent. How does that not just win? I'm just living vicariously through you since Herbie fully loaded didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's too clever, unfortunately. <laughs> that is the single worst quip last No! No! Wow, two people missed one? I was a half years. second away from having a okay. ultimate quiplash. Nope, not possible. Just, I want you to think when you see a no prompt, how good it would have been if one of the prompts said, he got that baby dick. A good sign that- <laughs> Ah, what? All right, all right. A good sign that you may be a ghost. You are Bruce Willis, or Bruce Willis is hanging <laughs> out in your room. <laughs> I think only one of these people has seen yeah. The six sets. Austin. <laughs> I haven't seen the six sets. <laughs> you are Bruce Willis has won. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least I got it right. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I totally, uh, totally missed on that one. Totally forgot. <laughs> Wait, did you forget? Yeah. Uh, dude. What fucking universe are we in, dude? I, you know, like I was talking and then I forgot that Bruce Willis is the ghost. But uh, spoilers, by the way. Three things MacGyver needs to make a bomb: duct tape and two slightly smaller bombs, or paper clip an egg in your mom's panties. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to seed laughter for your own answer. <sighs> He got the baby dick. <laughs> right now, like, I'm just hoping that one of the no answers was against mine, so one of the worst <laughs> quiplash answers ever actually wins. Screw you guys. You probably <laughs> shouldn't hire a moving company called We Mash Up All Your Belongings Into Dust.com or We Move You Fast. Three exclamation marks. <laughs> and for the first time ever, Malf, I think you gotta, you gotta win on this one, buddy. <laughs> it's not me. I wouldn't put a shit answer like that. <laughs> <laughs> Guarantee right. we mash up all your belongings into dust.com. That's got Nick written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> there is no question. <laughs> yeah, that was me. We move yeah. you fast, though, was Austin. Well, yeah, that's the one. And it lost. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> what Michelangelo said is he chiseled David's penis. Yeah. That's a good dick right there, right there, or uh, no answer, but let's be honest, it was going to say he got that baby dick. 
I mean, that, that, I think that would have been potentially close. No. Some, I think so. <laughs> something is not a good idea to put in the overhead bin on an airplane. Un and under the bed tote versus no answer. What? <laughs> and under the bed totes. <laughs> and under the bed totes. No! <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I didn't proofread it. And under the bed toad. It was supposed to say and under the bed. Or a under the bed toad. You know, I feel know. like I did the right play here, actually. <laughs> Sir, excuse me, is that an under the bed toad? <laughs> it can't be placed in the overhead bin. Contents no. may shift in the process of flying. Please store it under the seat to your left. Uh, do you answer this one with the spoilers oh. that are going to give you a quiplash? Or do you have respect for the audience and think that maybe they haven't played one of this year's biggest games and uh, instead try to come up with a more clever answer that doesn't piggyback on the failings of an overambitious game? I don't know. That's I, a tough one. I stopped listening like three words <laughs> in. I just <laughs> cut off this piece of geometry, though. <laughs> You can't just do that. I made I this don't... weird long snake dick. Ten and seconds. I can't kill it. Um, Isaac uh, Newton invented calculus, and here we've got Nick trying four to. Four seconds. Dick. I'm not <laughs> doing it intentionally. Uh, that was. Oh my god, that's trying to get rid of the worst answer. answer. <laughs> that was. This is. <laughs> that might be the worst answer. <laughs> Oh no. What is this? <laughs> Something you'd sneak into space if you were an astronaut. The Space Corps from Portal 2, wow. or My Wife. My Wife. My <laughs> Wife. I'm just picturing yeah, like a... Buzz Aldrin. He's got like a little bump under his trench coat. And then when he gets up to space, he's like, we're in the clear. <laughs> we got her. What's really at the center of the Earth? And under the bed tote? Or... <laughs> A massive cluster of corrupted gems. All right. So either Nick, Nick or Austin. Um, <laughs> if, if it's, Austin, it's not Austin, it's Nick. Yeah. That's Nick. Wait, is that a Terraria joke? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. I was gonna, I was gonna spoil the entirety of No Man's Sky, but. Oh, I mean, is it really a spoiler like for that? I, I yeah, don't know. Was... Maybe, maybe not. I looked it up. It's, it's. Can you really count that as a spoiler? No, when you get to the center of the galaxy, that's the potential it... spoiler. Is it just Peter Mullen you telling you to fuck off it at the might center of the galaxy? It, it, <laughs> it Somebody might. spoiled it for me on Twitter this morning, actually, and I'm kind of sad about it. And should... under the bed tote, 79%. Come on, you can't piggyback <laughs> off of my awesomeness. <laughs> the name of a board game for players seven, age 70 and older. Canasta with your grandma pushed downstairs. Or what? who's your daddy? <sighs> who's your daddy? Canasta with your grandma pushed down the stairs. <laughs> Why does every Red Hot Chili Pepper song just work? <laughs> I mean, you've been doing the same one over and over again, in fairness. We did Californication for like an hour, like a month ago, though. <laughs> Canasta with your grandma, then you push her down the stairs. <laughs> Who's your daddy isn't just a meme though. It's like they're old. They forget their family. Dragon Slayer doppelganger. Oh. oh no! Who did this? Oh. A good name for a restaurant that serves animals with the faces still on them. Supper that smiles back or colon close parentheses. <laughs> well, someone has just reinvented the fucking game. Wow. That's pretty weird. I just, I just got next leveled on that one. <laughs> Mouth, you may have created the greatest quiplash answer of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. You just changed the game. Change the game. Honestly, I, when I put that in, I was like, this is the worst answer I've ever given. <laughs> no, the worst answer's coming up. Just, just watch. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Made yep. for a board game designed to give children nightmares. <laughs> Monster time board game <laughs> or don't wait down. <laughs> Monster time board game. <laughs> it's 
lost 91 to 9. <laughs> <laughs> Monster <laughs> time! <laughs> it got all of our <laughs> I can't even pinpoint why it's so <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I know you re realize this. It's like an answer that like a five year old would give. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. I just want to go and shake the hands of the 9% <laughs> of the people. <laughs> <clears throat> Who voted oh. for that? <laughs> oh boy. Oh Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Thank you Will Fork for the cheer 100. He says it's monster time. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reference. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. <laughs> Monster time board game. Here's what everybody wrote. Oh. Wow! These are close. <coughs> Another name for the Grand Canyon. Gaia's Slam Crack. No answer. God's ass crack. The Grand Cranian. The Big Rock Pit. Fuck it. Oh, I typed it so fast I misspelled it. Oh, the fuck me. Grand Cranian. This supposed to be the Grand Crayon? What is. Yeah, the Grand Cranian. <laughs> what? It's not supposed to be funny. It's not supposed to be. I don't, I don't know how that thing's. Grand Cranian. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm going for Gaia's slam crack. There's no doubt that it is Nyx 100. percent You're not a fan of uh, the. Why'd big you know that bucket? too? Because <laughs> you don't know about Gaia. Yeah, of the ones of us most likely use Gaia in an answer. <laughs> you're, you're like a 90 percent certainty. <sighs> and then the big rock pit. Fuck it. Got 37 percent. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> The big rod pit. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I literally. I, I, <laughs> all right. You know, I'll take it. I'll Maybe I shouldn't try at all. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Although Just Monster Time board game. Uh, game answer. So. Uh, don't wake daddy. Hell <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah! Don't wake daddy. <laughs> You think it'll wake daddy? That was a good round, except for the last slash. Like, yeah. Monster Time board game and under the bed tote. <laughs> the answer that was just an emoji. You want a couple more? There was some, yeah, Fox was at the, the heart of two of those. I think I've solved my geometry problem. <sighs> Would you say that you've, you it? you've dealt with your geometry woes? <laughs> Kinda. I, I had to go to the back of it, and now I can reduce it properly. Wow! Monster Time board game. Thanks for the subscription. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, how much time? Hmm. For thirty-eight seconds. Oh! All right. Well, I just press enter. <laughs> all right. <laughs> look. At, look. At, <clears throat> all right. <laughs> the punchline to an off-color Star Wars joke. Wookie leaks or his lightsaber is throbbing. Holy fuck. Wookie leaks. That's so good. Yeah, that is pretty good. 100% my vote there. Wookie leaks. I, I, I bet you it's clever enough that it's not going to win. No. I hope it wins. It deserves to win. I'm, I'm predicting Wookie leaks 84%. 87 percent wow i think I that think... might be the cleverest thing we've done today oh come on uh, <laughs> yeah. lambert granny's is pretty clever lambert granny's is pretty yeah that was wookie, right. leaks, wookie leaks is, is is really clever though too you know what it didn't get 87 but it did quiplash 68. a really bad name for an apartment complex blank place indian burial ground place or this one is just a closed parenthesis Okay, you can't. Wow. You can't. It's not even I'm, a smiley. Not, it's just. This is not how it works. 
I'm I'm having a. I, I believe that one may win. Mm. What is is that one? Wait, is that is that next level of the next level? I think I, this might be like level minus one. I think it is. <laughs> I'm trying to. I don't think it came through the way I intended it. What were you intending? Winky face. There's no colon hmm. though. <laughs> yeah, I put one, so I don't think it went through. Oh, oh, oh so it, it didn't go through as intended, like from a transmission standpoint. Yeah, I know. Wow. okay. <laughs> what those giant Easter Island heads are thinking, please, it itches so bad, or this is the extremely happy smiley face with a. Mm. With a D. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not feeling this new meta. To be totally no, honest. Sometimes being a trendsetter is <laughs> seeing your beautiful work of art shit on. <laughs> Don't really care to change it. Uh, several swastikas. <laughs> that's, that's, that's literally his name on Twitch. I don't know how he did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the smiley face lost. What yeah. Smokey the Bear does when he's not fighting forest fires? <laughs> Jerking his gherkin or getting the fattest rips of his vape? What? Monster Time Board Game. Welcome to the patrol <laughs> ring. Sick for you, my friend. I just want to sculpt this skull again. <laughs> I just want to sculpt you. Fattest rips of the vape sounds like a spell you could cast in like Diablo. <laughs> yeah, a little bit actually, yeah. The best cure for a hangover. Two dozen raw eggs in a whole pickle or the jerk and smirk. <laughs> <laughs> What's the jerk like and that? smirk? It's like that, uh, that that Filipino guy who who does who's oh, like yeah. the camera and then he slowly smirks. Uh, that guy's <laughs> great. Yeah. Vape nation. Vape nation. The jerk and smirk sounds like a pub. I could accept that. Yeah. I really wish I Mouth would there. vote so there's like a potential for quiplashes, but instead well, he just. Choose... <laughs> Yo, I gotta do something trying to fucking <laughs> stupid ass. Why must this corrupted geometry look like a dick? You gotta reduce it. I'm trying. Still. <laughs> Try this. It just has to look like a dick. It's bad to be buried alive. It's worse to be buried alive with... Dan Giesling. Or with blue balls. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say the first one's Rob's. Second one's Mouse. No, I'm telling Whoa. you. Dan Giesling is Nick. Whoa. No. I wasn't part of this one. No, nah, next nice level. Man. Okay, this mouth. Is, this is Robin Mouth. What's up? Did you I say Dan Giesling? Rex and Bolero I don't do the Dan Giesling. I will not sink that low. It's, uh, it's just that, you know, they tossed it up, you know, right over the plate. Yeah, there was a prompt where park. a person's name could go, so I uh, didn't have any <laughs> other choices. <laughs> I mean, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, it was 100 right. emojis. I think you'd be most emoji. surprised to find a dentist find in your mouth. His dick <laughs> or Ocean Man? Ocean Man? <laughs> what? I mean, That's Nick. More... Nick is Ocean Man. Ocean Man? <laughs> you think I'm Ocean Man? Wait, is this, is this a reference that I'm not getting? <laughs> you think I'm Ocean Man? I'm not Ocean Man. No, he's Ocean Man. He's lying. I'm not Ocean Man. He's <laughs> lying. He's not <laughs> Ocean Man. I'm not he's Ocean Man. <laughs> all about the day. He's gonna take your hand, Some lead to the land. Times I feel <laughs> like a man from the ocean. <laughs> no way. Well, his dick has trounced it. Oh, that's real, real nice. Wow. Yeah, it wow. Does. And. They're actually giving me some sass because this was apparently a prompt they expected. So the game is yelling at me about not being so juvenile. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> A secret way to get ocean, to get stubborn ketchup out of the bottle. Rub some bacon on it, or find a Canadian and some plain potato chips. That's not how you make ketchup <laughs> potato <laughs> chips. <laughs> it's not that funny. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 funny. Funny. <laughs> I want to. I want to high five you, Austin. High five for you. What? Why are you high fiving Austin? Don't high five me. It, was it you, Nick? Jesus, nobody gives me any credit for anything. <laughs> I didn't know you made fun of Canadians. The first time you made fun of Canadians. I don't usually because I like them, but sometimes it's funny. Oh my god. Mouth. <laughs> the perfect meal would be a blank stuffed in a blank stuffed in a blank. Would be a word one stuffed in a word two stuffed in a word three, or a jalapeno popper stuffed in a turducken stuffed in a harambe. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> mm, yeah. Well, no vote 
forever. What can you really stuff in a Harambe? Uh, See, the child? joke was that it was going to be foods that are already stuffed being stuffed into each other, but then I had two seconds left, so I just... <laughs> <laughs> muscle memory just went for Harambe. Don't even give this to word one, word two, word three. That's not as clever as you think it is. <laughs> To just refuse to to refuse to answer a prompt is not clever in and of itself. Oh, did I win? No. How did Harambe won? It's a good question. How did Harambe <laughs> win a quick flash prompt? And I said, hey, yay. Sometimes I say, hey, yay. Oh, shit, I ran out of time, too. The worst thing to hear from your GPS. In two miles, do a barrel roll. In two miles, hit the jaywalkers. In two miles, get eaten alive by hell beasts. Or in two miles, your son will call his stepdad Papa. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually Dada. It's Pop Pop. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, 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 I can do that better. Yeah. Uh, Pepe actually wants you to do an aileron roll, actually. Pepe? Is that a type of sushi? <laughs> <laughs> Pepe? Pepe? Yuck, 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 yuck. Hit the jaywalkers. 40%? What? Wow. How does this math what? work out? Your son will call his dad Papa. 41 percent oh <laughs> <laughs> wait that doesn't make any sense wasn't something 15 percent yeah but that's nick cool. got yeah, three that's 101 percent isn't it oh well i didn't get an i didn't answer but i don't think that yeah, that's matter. more than 100 percent yeah that's <laughs> way more <laughs> nick still won <laughs> That's 101 percent, dude. You can come help me figure out how to make these bits of geometry go away, and I'll keep doing this for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Half dead, aka shoe throwing game, to see if the what? traps explode you. You're supposed to play it with me. Don't get jealous, Nick. I am jealous. <laughs> At least I'm not playing Monster Time board game with anybody else. <laughs> <laughs>